Hey, it's Chad Leenberg, real estate agent, team owner, and digital marketer. And today I wanted to talk to you about funnels and websites, really what the difference is, what a funnel is. So you might have heard the word funnel before, uh, but you know, hopefully you're not like me and tuned it out for years. So it's a, it's a little backstory on my introduction to funnels. I heard about click funnels and I heard the word funnel, funnel, funnel. And I had, as a real estate agent, I had the platform KV Core conversion. And it had the ability to create landing pages, right? A website where somebody could land on, put in their info and get a list or get whatever element it was. So I thought like that's a funnel. You just it's a web page that they can opt in to something on. And I tuned funnels out for years. I mean, we're talking probably five, six, seven years that I tuned them out. Uh, and very recently went in and got some coaching and learned the skill, learned the skill of funnels, what should, the messaging that should go on the funnels, the, the process that the funnels take you through, what, like, what an actual funnel is instead of my misconception of it. So if you take anything from this video, you definitely need to learn the skill of funnels and what it is because it's the difference between a converting website and a non-converting converting website. And today I kind of want to let you a little bit into the back end of uh, some of the templates we have and show you the difference between a website and a funnel and why we believe that they're crucial in converting somebody on your website. So let me share up my screen here. And there we go. So what we have here is our standard kind of default seller funnel. Uh, you'll see there's a landing page, which Again, I thought it was all funnels were before. <laughs> and this landing page is an opt-in page, right? So get top dollar for your property, watch the free work, watch the free workshop. You click watch now and they opt in, right? So that's that's you know, a landing page. It can look different, they can have different stuff on here. And this is just a default template that we have, right? But what's different about this versus a website is you'll notice at the top there's no navigation bar like you'll see on most websites because the primary difference between a funnel at least in terms of a web page and a website is that a funnel is linear and that a website is basically just one gigantic you know place to go access different elements of whatever that subject is whether it's a band's website or a sport or a real estate agent you name it so this first step as you can see in our funnel we have step one step two you know landing page webinar schedule calls survey thank you and you can see each page Page one, the only option they have on this page, any of these buttons they click, move them to the next step. The next step is to watch the training that we have here, right? So how to get top dollar for your home, okay? And then when they click the Let's Chat, it takes them to the next step. Every button that is on these, page, on these pages only move the person on your page to the next step. So here they can schedule a call. And then again, next step is to fill out a survey. This is a seller intake form where they answer questions about their house. So we have that data before the call. They've already scheduled a call because we're directing them, right? We, want, we don't want to miss out on a call because they didn't fill out a form. So that's why we put the call first. So then it goes to the survey, like I said, and then ultimately a thank you video, right? So it's it just step by step by step by step, as opposed to the website, and this is a website template we have here, which you can see the website in our design builder is just a bunch of pages. There's no arrows, there's no direction. The only direction is the thing at top, on top here, the navigation bar, like any normal website. But you're relying on the person to take the proper actions in the proper order which I don't know about you, but the people I've met generally don't do what you expect them to do. Rarely do they even follow directions properly. You have to spoon feed them. And that is what a funnel is, is spoon feeding step-by-step step how you want your prospect to go through the actions you, you, know, you see fit. So in case of the funnel, right? Intrigue, you know, interest, you know, show the offer, schedule a call, give me a little more info. Thank you, I appreciate you as opposed to, I hope you find the right spot, <laughs> you know? So, and then on the website though, you'll notice that we, we still will make one, we'll still have a website. So this is kind of our default template, how we view a website should be. You'll notice every section here is pointing either to the funnel or to a section of our funnel. So here we have, you know, pointing to the top dollar funnel. We have an identical funnel for buyers where we're pointing them to the buyer negotiation workshop funnel or a section of that funnel, which is their dream home survey, which is an intake form for us on the agent side. So we know what to help, what they're looking for when we get on the call. So ultimately, I think really it just, it just boils down to the fact that I didn't get, let me, see, let me get my screen back out of here. Uh, I didn't understand that funnels 
are what they are. I thought websites were just websites and a funnel was a, a, a page for people to put in their info. But I think if it had been explained to me that way, that I would have taken more of an interest sooner because the concept of pushing people in the right steps in the right order would have been a lot more appealing to me. And this is absolutely the difference between a website that sits, you know, that if you're a real estate agent, right, your your buyers and sellers or sphere of influence, go to your website, they browse around on your IDX and look at a couple houses and then what they ultimately go back to something like Zillow or realtor.com or your MLS portal even. They don't very I don't see very many high converting real estate agent websites, but I do see a ton of high converting real estate agent funnels. So I think that I think it's crucial. We really coach that a funnel is crucial on the buyer and seller side of your business. It really holds your offer in place and takes your prospect through the stages that you need them to go through in the order that you need them to go through it in. And of course, you can cheat some of those pages and send them to a later section of the funnel if you maybe already spoken with them or, you know, and you can you can you can pick that apart. But ultimately, you should have it in the right order, in the ideal order out front. I'm a systems and processes nerd, so I, of course, love setting this up. Um, but I do think that that is the difference between a converting website and a non-converting website. So uh, thanks for tuning in and checking out uh, my video here today on the difference between funnels and websites. Uh, I hope it was valuable to you. And if you'd like any you know, of our templates that we have, we have funnel templates, um, website templates, anything like that. I'd love to show you how we could deploy that in your business. So definitely connect with me. Would love to chat. Uh, but thanks for watching today and I will see you.